Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you a quick demo as you requested in my, my last uh, video of the replay editor. Today is the demo of how to use the replay editor actually with, with a recording with an ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, SDI version in this case, and DaVinci Resolve, and how to, to use the replay editor in this case. And um, the first thing that you have to do is you go to DaVinci Resolve, you open a new project, you go to the project settings and you have to match the timeline format. It's like a full HD in my case and 50 frames. And the video monitoring format has to be the same. This you have to, to match to your actually ATEM settings. In my case it's 50 frames. And then you go to DaVinci Resolve preferences. You go to video and audio IO. The capturing device is my ATEM Mini SDI ISO. This is plugged in into the USB-C port of the ATEM Mini SDI ISO in the port A and yeah, into my MacBook Pro. And I have the Thunderbolt cable from my MacBook Pro into my Ultra Studio 4K Mini. This Ultra Studio 4K Mini is to bring back the replay into my ATEM Mini SDI ISO. So I use the fill and key option of the Ultra Studio 4K Mini and this goes to the channel 3 and 4 of my ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. So I will show you how to do that in a minute, but you have to put the monitor device to Ultra Studio 4K Mini. Maybe DaVinci will ask you to uh, restart DaVinci to, to this, uh, for the changes to take effect. So we save that. And that's, that's everything you have to do in case of settings. Or maybe before we finish here, we have here on top the replay uh, button, the replay options. If you click here, you, you have to put the auto stinger on on and you have to put the enable smart render cache on on. These two options are very necessary. And if you, so auto stinger is not very necessary. It's not that important because if you don't use stingers like here, I have no stingers in this case. Um, it's not necessary to turn it, turn it on, but I will turn it on in this case. And if you have a great performance on your computer, you can uh, enable optical flow for replay and optical flow for timeline. So if you have um, slow motions in your replay, um, you will get uh, better uh, performance in this case. But for the, in my case, I will let them switch off. This is everything that you need to do. And now how you can import your media into DaVinci. You have to click here on import media. Then I will search for my ATEM STI ISO. Here is it. And it's currently recording. It's currently recording. I have four cameras that are currently recording. It's this one, it's this one, it's this one, and this one. So I click on open. Now these are my camera. If I go back to my replay editor, you have a button here. It says multi source. I will click on that. And now you can see all my four channels are playing uh, in DaVinci Resolve and you have here a timeline here down here and the way it works is here on the um, replay editor you have the set the POE button and go to POE button so point of interest button so if I find something interesting I can just click on the set POI so point of interest and then you can see here that it says POI and if I want to replay this now um, because I have set it as because I have set up my Ultra Studio 4K as downstream key, so if I run the the replay, it will automatically overwrite my program out. So I can queue the replay now. It will stop here in DaVinci Resolve. I go back to my POI. This was my point of interest. Then I can simply run the replay, and would and it will overwrite my program out. Then I can show multiple angles if I want can show multiple angles and I can even um, speed ramp here with the live speed look if I speed ramp you can see it's very choppy now and I can move it fast and it's fast and I can slow it down and I can as I said show multiple cameras this is like normal speed this is slow motion and if you have optical flow enabled, it will look much better. But for this demo, I will let it off and I can switch off the live speed. And if I want to dump the, the replay, I just click on dump and now I'm back to program. 
So again, if I see something that I like, I will click on the set POI. So now I have the new POI point of interest. Then I can queue the replay. I can go to the POI point and I will run the replay. So again, because of the Ultra Studio 4K Mini, this is now my program out. The replay is in real time my program out. And I can show multiple camera angles. You see, I can show all my four angles. And if I dump, I'm back to program out. And that's it, basically. And here in DaVinci Resolve, this is now the multi view. What you're seeing is the multi source, so the multi view of my USB C out. But if you want to see in real time what's happening on, on the recording, on my, on my show or event, you can click here on input view. Now we have the real multi view, what's actually in real time on my um, ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. So in this case too, if you see something like you like, you want to replay, you just, you just press the set POI. It will go back to the multi-source view. Then you see our POI point here. And if I want to replay that, I just queue the replay, go back to my POI and run the replay. I can again show multiple cameras. And if I'm finished, I will press dump and I'm back in my normal multi-source view. And if I click on input view, I'm back to the real-time multi-view. And this is basically everything you have to know. And that's basically it. You can pre-roll uh, the point of view. So if you click on here and you set the set point of view, then this button will go three seconds back. So you have three seconds until the point of interest is uh, replaying and basically that's it so i hope uh, this video helped you out and give you an idea how the replay editor works and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below this is just a quick uh, overview it's really a lot what you can do with this replay editor but this is the basic things that you have to know to get it work and everything else is like just playing around and found out and find out the, the best workflow that you want to do what you need is the DaVinci Resolve Replay Editor for that um, and DaVinci Resolve Studio of course if you want to enable optical flow and ATEM Mini SDI Extreme ISO and an Ultra Studio 4K Mini to do the replay back into the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO so I hope you learned something and I will appreciate everyone who would like and subscribe this video and see you in the next video peace and out